guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing for Real. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, fishing for bass during the bluegill spawn. Now, you know, all of us live in different parts of the world, of course, so your bass right now may not necessarily be spawning at all, um, you're, or they may be done spawning. But, you know, either way, eventually summer's going to come, the bass spawn is going to, you know, be over, and the bluegill spawn is going to start. And at that time, all those uh, bluegill up there spawning, the bass can actually go up shallow and roam, you know, around up shallow, knowing that they're safe and that they have bluegill to feed on. So I'm just going to show you a few of the baits that I like to use when the bluegill up on their beds and uh, the bass are up there eating Alright guys, so I have a few baits here. And uh, these are just a couple of the baits. There's many different baits out there. But these are a few of my favorite ones to throw during the pre-spawn. Um, I mean, the bluegill spawn, sorry. Um, but as you notice with all of them, they pretty much all have a chartreuse tail. And uh, that's because all of the bluegill, um, around here anyway, have a bright chartreuse tail. You can barely see the actual bluegill in the water, but a lot of times you can. The only reason you know there's a bluegill there is because you can see the bright chartreuse tail. Um, the other day, I was at a lake and uh, I was looking, you know, just kind of looking the shoreline. And uh, Isaac's like, oh look, there's a bluegill. And uh, the only way I could see him is I saw a chartreuse tail before anything. And then eventually, of course, I saw him. But those chartreuse tails stand out really good. And so uh, that's kind of what you want to imitate. You want to make sure you got that chartreuse pop to, to imitate those bluegill real well. So as you can see, like on uh, a frog, which is one of my favorite baits to throw. And you can throw these, you know, throw this around all those bluegill. Um, you know, because those bass are going to be eating those bluegill, of course. And so this just looks like a wounded bluegill up there. And uh, I don't know if you can see very good, but this does have a chartreuse tail. I actually uh, drew a little chartreuse. And one of my favorite things to do, or to have around this time, is some JJ's Magic. And this is in chartreuse color, of course. And you can dip pretty much anything in there. You can dip, you know, your frogs in there and dye the tips of, you know, anything chartreuse. So my frogs will dye the tail from chartreuse. Um, horny toads are one of my favorite baits as well. Another topwater bait. You can also reel it, you know, under the surface, more like a swim bait. And a good color is like that green pumpkin color. Um, this might be a watermelon. And then those chartreuse tails. Because if you look at those bluegill, at least the ones I have, their body is, a, you know, is more darker and natural. But then they have that bright chartreuse um, tail. So I kind of usually stick with like a more natural um, body. And then have a bright chartreuse tail. So I'm just going to show you real quick how to dip it. So here's a little creature bait that works well. It's like a little green pumpkin red flake. And I'm just going to take it and just dip. Just dip the tips in. Hold it for a couple seconds, pull it out, and set it down. Now you won't be able to see um, very good right now. You can kind of see where the chartreuse is on there. But when you get it in the water, it really pops. You can really see the chartreuse. And you don't need much, you know, you don't, that's probably a little too much. You just need to do the tips of them. Um, but, you know, same with my jigs. My little trailers on my jigs are these bluegill kind of colored trailers. And uh, have a little chartreuse on the end of that. And uh, so these are just a few of the baits I like to use, you know, to imitate bluegill. Some top waters, a uh, jig, a creature bait. And uh, you can't, you know, you can't fish around the bluegill spawn without a swim bait. Now you can use soft swim baits like these. These are little KVD um, watermelon red flake. Uh, these are the swimming caffeine shad. You can use big like swim baits and glide baits. Now a really good one is this uh, Jackal Ganturel. This is the junior. Just because it matches more the size of the bluegill uh, that we have. So baits like that can really be good. And, uh, you know, little swim baits, I'll actually take one of these out of the package for you. Just a second, I gotta stop the camera so I can take it out. Alright guys, okay, so I'm, I'm filming one with one hand and the other hand I'm using my bait. So sorry if the filming's a little uh, wacky. But there's one out of the package. And uh, these can imitate bluegill so well. I love show throwing these things. Take that tail, that's got a big boot tail on it. And just dip it, just get the tail in. And pull it out and lay it down on your napkin of course and now you've got a bright popping um, tail because if you look at the bluegill if I can find a good picture of one um, I'll put one up but if you look if you look at a, a bluegill 
it uh that almost looks like it has a boot tail you know the swim base like that one has the round the big tail if you look at that chartreuse in the water it almost looks like a boot tail so those swim baits like that they really really do good throw them on like 15 or 20 pound fluorocarbon depending on you know the cover that you're in but you see all those bluegill beds and I'll, i'm gonna make videos um like I said, I was at the lake and there was some bluegill swimming around the other day, so I'll definitely, you know, be going there hopefully soon. Uh, definitely during the summer, during the bluegill spawn, I'll be there. But uh, those, you know, they look just like it. Throw it on, you know, 15-pound uh, fluorocarbon and, uh, you know, medium heavy rod, heavy action rod, um, little swim bait hook, and just, you know, crawl it. Just slow roll it and just creep it through those beds, uh, those bluegill beds. And the bass, you'll be surprised. The bass will come out of nowhere and just nail them. Um, so, the particular lake that I like fishing, sorry, uh, the, that I like fishing in, uh, for the bluegill spawn is it's a little, like, it's a little man-made lake, and the bank is kind of, it's going, and it, it kind of drops, so it's, like, shallow, and it dips down really fast, and then when it dips, there's grass, there's a grass line that goes up, so they sit in that deeper water right on that gra uh, grass line, and then those bluegill are all up there, and they see a bluegill swim by, and they, you know, come right up out of that grass and grab them. So you just, you know, kind of slow roll that along, right on the edge of that grass and that deep little drop off, and uh, they'll come out and just hammer it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys uh, kind of learned a few baits to throw. I would do, hopefully, a more in-depth video on this um, actually fishing pretty soon. So, uh, thanks for watching, um, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.